I'm Ryan. And I'm Shane. Welcome to Top 5 Beatdown, a show where we compare top fives for topics that seem completely asinine, yet somehow garner strong opinions. And to add some fun to the mix, we compare our top fives to that of a special guest. Today's topic is top five cryptids, and today's special guest is a human cryptid, creepy boy, whatever. It's Garrett Watts! <laughs> yeah! Yes. I told you to add YouTube sensation to the mix. That's right. Seems I like he's spaced fair. it. Well, yeah, your yeah. YouTube sensation, correct. <laughs> we could put that in the lower third. So you guys see I got some new boots? Well, that's oh pretty good. Cool. Well, you didn't say anything earlier. You put any mink coil on those? You, no, but I, when I was handing out candy for Halloween, I spilled wax on them. Well, well you put didn't, some mink oil looks like you missed bags. a spot <laughs> okay. or two. Okay. Shush, shush, shush. Well, put I some, put shush, shush. Put he, some mink I, coil on there. He gives me shoe advice, you know this. Gives that's you shoe advice where he shoes me. I give you shush advice. Shut the fuck up. Garrett, what do you... What's your relationship with cryptids? I think, like he said, I kind of feel like a cryptid on the internet a little bit, creeping yeah. away, disappearing for a long time. People go, oh, is he dead? Is he around? Yeah. Being large. Oh, yeah. That's right. <laughs> I gotta say, that's a big foot. Yeah. It, it is a big ass foot. It is a big foot, I'm a big boy. No, you're an absolute fucking unit. <laughs> Let's talk about what a cryptid is. For those who don't know, cryptids are cryptozoological animals. This is like a mythical creature. I'm not gonna list examples because that's what we're doing that's here. Kind of list I don't want to give it away. There's a list right here. I, I saw Annie tilt down to my crotch. That's not a cryptid. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's all my five are just... Just Ryan's <laughs> balls. Ryan's little balls. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? Uh, you know what? Why don't we just get into the list? This has already gotten off the rails. Let's list! list. We could uh, start with you, Garrett, if you could please reveal your fifth choice for top five cryptids. Okay, so my number five is... <clears throat> two, uh, two. Suchi, Suchi Noko. Suchi Noko. That's, Suchi Noko? That's the one. Suchi Noko. Suchi Noko. I tried. I really did try to make an effort. I did illustrations of each one. Oh, that's so, lovely. Is that a pineapple or a butthole? This is a, an alcoholic snake who <laughs> rolls around and springs up and lies to people. Oh my goodness. Yeah, so that's kind of his MO. It lies to people? Uh, and it talks. Did I say that? Oh, fuck. That's I mean, the... I would have to assume that it talks if it lies. You Ooh. can lie with your eyes. I feel like I do that a lot. You see this? Oh, oh, oh yeah, and he's, a, he's a thick little boy. Look so it you. bites its own ass and that's how it rolls around. So it goes into a wheel form. Like a wheel. And then. That's my vibe. I would yeah. love to catch one of these snakes, <laughs> fucking cut it in half and just take some shots out of all the liquid you, that's do, falling out of you, it. You want to eat it? You'd probably get super drunk. So you want to wring it out? I want to wring it out and, and drink the that's Jack Daniels cool. from it, yeah. you know, or the sake. That's probably <laughs> the worst snake I've seen since that penis snake. But I don't know what that means what and I don't you, want what, to know. What, what? Don't don't expound upon it. Don't what? let him do this. You've never seen a picture of the penis snake? I'd love to. Uh, he's just gonna show you his penis. This is what he does every <laughs> time. <laughs> All right, well, let's move on to my number five. Oh, I'm excited to see it. Me, my me too. number five is Shane Madej. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Ooh. No, it's, uh, it's Thunderbirds. This is also uh, a kind of an obscure one. They're giant birds that look like pterodactyls. I love birds. A fucking long ass wingspan, and they, they like, I guess, have electric properties, I suppose. I don't know too much about them. I do know that I want to hunt them. You you want to hunt a Thunderbird? Yeah. I think that Thunderbird would kill you so quick. Nah, dude, if I had like a big net or something. That Thunderbird would fry your ass so it could, quick. It'll turn you into a powder. I just like the idea of a prehistoric bird still remaining. I suppose you could call that even a chicken, because like, weren't yeah. chickens kind of, and birds all in general. Birds, birds are dying. Yes, yes, yes. Whoa. What the fuck is wrong You're going you? somewhere with I this. Had, I, I love birds yeah. so much. Oh. I had a little parrot and he was wonderful. And I'll tell you what, when you really study a bird, yeah. it, they are little dinosaurs. I love, I love, your, I love, your, I love your number that. five. Love we number both five. love it. Yeah. It's a good, it's a good it. number five. And now, my number five, my number five is it's Squatch. He's making the list because he's just such an absolute unit. He's out there. Bigfoot. Just yeah. one of the greats. If there was a, a commemorative quarter for cryptids, he'd be on it. They should do those, by the way. Yeah. Um, great American cryptids. Put them on the dollar bill. I'm surprised uh, you putting <laughs> something that's akin to a pumpkin spice I'm latte no, no, no. on your list. See, this is the thing that you get wrong. You think I'm going into this with an agenda, and I never am. I'm just following my heart, always. Sure. And that's why I'm sure. the people's lister. The only reason he's so low on the list yeah. is because we went squat hunting and not even hunting. We wanted to meet the gal. <laughs> right. She wasn't playing. She didn't come out to play. So what I'm hearing is a little sorrow.
Sparrow because Squatch is the one that got away. Very much so. I suppose so. It's a basic listing, but I respect it. Do you have any like fun facts to share about the Sasquatch? It stinks. <laughs> it smells stinks. like smegma. Yeah, that's what they've said. It smells like smegma. That's what scientists have said. I saw a movie once where these guys lived in a hotel with a with a Sasquatch, I think. Yes! That's pretty good. <laughs> My favorite Sasquatch appearance is in, in the Goofy movie. Squatches in that as well. Very fun. Well, let's move on to your number four then, dear. All right, so my number four is, brace yourselves, this one's freaky. The Kraken. Oh, oh. There we go, yeah, Kraken, nice. Beautiful rendering. He's really scary, so I'm afraid of open water, deeply afraid of open water. There's incredibly intelligent animals, and I think that intelligent animals can exist here. Yeah. Do you know how smart octopi are? Very, very smart. So they think can a, go into a jar. I think that a Kraken does exist and knows how to avoid uh, humans. What is the number? It's like 95% of the ocean is not discovered yet. It's not outlandish to be like, okay, maybe there's something hiding in that 95%. It's very possible that back in the day when old sailors were out there going, oh, what is that deep? within the water. Yeah. Could be a giant squid, which they have found. Yeah. Shockingly, yeah. very real. How giant are we talking here? Big. Oh, well, huge. What does that mean? That's not. Big, wrap, wrap your big. You just used an adjective to describe a metric of Big, big, big. Oh, uh, the, the other thing that sailors often saw that they thought were uh, cryptids or, yeah. or strange sea monsters, Whale penises. No. Yes. Interesting. This is true. If you look up whale penis. No, I don't want to see no, more penis-like penis objects. But I do want to show you a picture of a whale penis oh. just so you can. He's pulling this from his camera roll. He's not searching Safari. Okay, Ryan, look at that. That is a whale penis. God <laughs> damn it, dude. Every single time. How do I fall for it? What was it? Why don't you show Garrett that? <laughs> I can't do you that. You gotta show that to Garrett. I don't wanna see it then. No, you don't wanna see it. Let's see what your number four is, yeah. big boy. <laughs> My number four is... <gasps> Nessie. Nessie. Now, I know Shane loves Nessie, has a big old boner for Nessie. Do I? You do, you talk about Nessie all the time. You like Champ, too. You, did you just confirm? <laughs> <laughs> I'm laughing, but I don't want to be laughing along. <laughs> well, we're talking cryptids. That's true. God. But Nessie, you know, this is a classic. If we're talking about like the fucking Raisin Bran, name recognition of cryptids. I like all the things they've done to try to find Nessie. They sonared that entire fucking lake, didn't find her. Perhaps she's clever enough to hide somewhere. Yeah. Nessie, hide. Nessie is a rock or something like Nessie that. Nessie hide, Nessie pretend rock. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yes. And then after the sonar thing goes away, Nessie goes, ha ha ha. You know, there was a video a while ago of like humps in the water. Oh, Nessie's sort of back. No, hump. no, yeah, a back hump, not <laughs> like Nessie fucking. All right, now it's time for my number four. My number four is the Mongolian death worm. I've heard of this. Have you heard of this? I don't know much about it. No, I don't know what that is. Can we get an image of the Mongolian death worm? That is fucked up. That looks like a Demogorgon and that big ass worm from Dune fucked and yeah, had a baby. Yeah, that's yeah, really yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah. What's the scariest place you could see that death worm peeking out of? Your underwear. <laughs> Your bathtub. I was thinking a toilet. Yeah. If I went to go yeah. take a piss or something, yeah. as I'm already vulnerable and it's out, that comes out. Oh, oh, I check boy. the toilet for spiders every time before I use it. Do you check your back seat before you start driving? Because I do that every time. No, what are you afraid of? A fucking killer in my back seat. A robber's? I have a Prius. It's a pretty big back, a hatchback. Could There's you fit me down. back there? I think if we laid you diagonally. <laughs> Can I talk about my worm? <laughs> you always want to talk about your worm. <laughs> oh, no. God, dude. What's the going on with this Mongolian death worm Yeah, today? let's talk about Shane's death worm. It's a real freaky worm. Uh, it's got a like a big scary mouth. Yeah. How does it traverse around the world? Yeah, how does it move? It, what, it wriggles, what it wriggles. What obviously. terrain does it live in? That's well, Mongolia, probably some soil and sand, yeah. What yeah. do you know about Mongolia? Uh, there's soil. Oh, God. Terrain. What does it eat? I mean, you see that mouth. That mouth is gonna eat damn near anything. What that mouth do? I've eaten worms before. No. And I, I would eat this as well. I'd like to cut it up and, into some little fillets. Well, anyway, I love worms and I love <laughs> this worm. You're talking the list, right? I love this worm. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, you know what? Let's move on to the top three. But before we do that, let's have a word from our sponsors. Worms. Oh, hello there! If you haven't heard of Bessie by now, I'm here to fix that problem because seriously, I think everybody should know about this sneaker right here. Most people think that the weather in LA is the same every single day, but honestly, it's not. You'll get hit with random rain in the morning only for it to be hot by the afternoon. It's literally so annoying. So Vessi is the perfect shoe to get rid of that what do I wear feeling. The secret to Vessi's 100% waterproof shoe is Dymatex. That's right, Dymatex is the breathable dual knit material that keeps you cool during the summer and warm 
during the winter. On top of that, Bessie shoes are super comfortable and lightweight, so I can wear them all day, every day. Like on shoot days with our crew. Shoot days are long, and when I wear the wrong shoes, I get home and I feel sad because my feet hurt. So Vessies are definitely my go-to shoe whenever we travel for videos. They're easy to slip on and off in the TSA line, and it feels like I've got clouds on my feet the entire day. Vessies are perfect for any weather. Check them out at vessie.com slash watcher and get 15% off using the code watcher. Seriously, don't mess around, don't miss out. Once you have Vessies, you'll never look back. Huge shout out to Vessie for sponsoring this video, and now back to the show. Well, thank you for uh, helping us do this very important work over here at Top 5 Beatdown. Now let's get back to the list, our top threes, in fact. Garrett, it's time for your number three. Sure. My number three is the vegetable lamb of tartary. What? what? The so fuck? the vegetable lamb of tartary is a normal lamb. The only thing that makes it different is that it has kind of sweet blood and it grows on a stem and it does nothing. And it's then it a, just dies. It's a lamb. <laughs> it's a lamb. It's a stationary lamb that grows on a stem. Oh, very whimsical. And that's it. That's the story of the vegetable lamb of Tartary. Are people known in legend to eat this lamb if because they want. it's because it's so sweet tasting? It's a prepackaged kebab. Yeah. It sounds yeah. like a horrific existence to just be skewered your whole life. Well, it's not skewered, it's yeah. growing, it's growing. You, we, you would just you, have like a big stem out of your dome. Yeah, yeah but like, if I didn't move and I was just rotating around on my head all the time. Well, you wanna, you wanna hear something is that we've all been in the position of the vegetable lamb of tartar. You think about it, the first nine months of your life. Yeah, but you're not like living there forever. <laughs> yeah, but you're, you're hanging from a plant. You yeah, know, but it's not hanging, it's like, Propped up on a stick. It's growing though. It's growing. Yeah, I think you're misunderstanding what he was saying. I'm not. But it still yeah. sits there. Yeah, and they die there too. Well, plants are happy. <laughs> yeah, but I don't know. You, I never heard a plant scream. Well, that's because plants don't have mouths or vocal cords. Yes, but plants are at their happiest when they're just growing. They say their blood is as sweet as honey. Oh my God, I love honey, uh, and I would love to just slit one of these lambs' throats and just drink that blood. You guys want to harm these cryptids? Sometimes. That's not true. You I said mean, you wanted to hunt your thunderbird, and you said. You wanted to eat that worm. I would study it and then I would release it back and I'd go, thank you, Thunderbird. You think people are gonna miss that worm? Oh, you're talking about your worm again. I'm talking, I'm always talking, you know I want to talk about a worm. Well, there's not much to say about the vegetable lamb of tartary, and the vegetable lamb of tartary knows that. Well, let's move on to my number three. My number three is Chupacabra. <gasps> Chupacabra. Oh. Yeah, this is another, you know, look, I, I'm going with, I'm playing the hits over here. Chupacabra, I gotta honor my heritage, being half Mexican here. It terrorized a village, eating children and shit. Very funny. It's actually one of the more well-documented cryptids in the sense of is like- that Is that real? Not in the sense of like, we have pictures of it, but we have just this period of time where livestock was just being ripped to shreds. Oh, no. And people were reporting, seeing it being ripped to shreds by this kind of creature. What if it was just like a fucked up guy? <laughs> that's what you could be said about any of these cryptids. Oh, though. that's true. It could worm. be said for the that worm. Yeah. You know, just a guy, you know, Heidi oh, Klum yeah. did it. Imagine if the chupacabra and the vegetable lamb of Tartary met. Oh. I mean, the chupacabra would be like, oh my God, all the animals that I need to rip up are just stationary now. This is, it yeah. almost might be too easy for that's the chupacabra. That's what I think. When things are too easy, you flee, like dating and stuff, you know? Fair enough. Chupacabra, what does it mean mm. again? It's a uh, goat sucker? I thought it was Goat Killer, but... I thought it was Goat Sucker. Let's move on to Shane's number three. My number three is... Mothman! Good stuff, good stuff. A good callback to the beginning of the Mothman episode of Unsolved, where we went to go find the Mothman. Everyone on the internet loves Mothman, and for good reason. Mothman's just a just a wonderful, wonderful human being. It's a human? No, it's a moth, It's more man. like a humanoid creature. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But if you've seen the statue, you know this thing's just got a sculpted, gorgeous ass. It really does. Absolutely stacked. Can we get a picture of the ass, though, in particular? No, um, give him that. No, it's pretty good. Good, dude. Oh, yeah. Yeah, look at that shit. Oh, yeah. yeah. You couldn't clap those cheeks even if you wanted to. Those I, cheeks would clap you. I just love the aesthetic of it, too. Just just very goth with the red eyes. Yeah, it's, yeah. A, it's a six nice- Six-pack. Got an ass like Nightwing. That's right, oh, and he's got a six-pack. Wow. Oh, shit, you're right. Nightwing does have a Always. really good ass. Always. Never noticed that. Anyways, let's move on to Garrett's number two. All right, so my number two, this one's vicious. You ready? Yeah. Okay. The Rougarou. Rougarou! Do you know how 
It, well, it sounds really cool when someone who's actually from New Orleans says it because they say it with this like Cajun kind of like Rawgaroo. So the Rawgaroo lives in the swamps of New Orleans. This is Whoa, an this is, this is an swamps. aggressive one. And you know what? I happen to know a lawyer who lives in New Orleans, and he told me, "Oh, you have no idea how many uh, you know bodies are disposed of but through criminal activities within yes. the swamps. Yeah, because yeah. they get it's a swamp. They're, they get eaten by gators. Yeah. Oh, that's a good place but, to dispose. No, seriously, they do because the alligators eat them up. They can't go in there. They're massive. They just go on for countless miles and miles and miles. So this was sort of born. I think of you know the, the people disappearing within the swamps of New Orleans. People said, "Oh, the Rogaroo got him." You know how you become a Rogaroo? It's he's sort of a werewolf, and there's something very specific you have to do uh, to become a Rogaroo, and that's ignore uh, Lent, like the Catholic Lent, oh, for seven oh, years. Very, very religious down there. Yeah, and you if turn you ignore, into a Rogaroo, and you turn into if you seven years, you turn into a Rogaroo, right. and so it's sort of a thing for fear, and it's meant to scare children as well. This is like the anti Santa Claus year. Swamp Santa that enforces Catholicism. Well, Santa does that to me as well. He gets mad when I don't do my rosaries. What is the physical description of Raga? Sort of like a werewolf. Oh, look at that, yeah. Oh, lordy! That's now, crazy. he's incredibly popular, by the way. Yeah. Incredibly popular. Also well built. I would love to be chased by this through the swamp while I'm in a fan boat. Raga is a real scary one, so if you live in New Orleans, watch your ass. I like it. <laughs> okay, what is the number two that you have? Oh yeah, my number two is... The Mothman. Oh, you gotta yeah. love him. Look, I was gonna, I, I was waiting. Uh, yeah, you know. Like, like Shane said, great guy, interdimensional being. Well, new details are coming out. Well, he could he could perhaps jump dimensions. He's also been uh, accused of terrorism. One of the bridge collapses that happened, I believe it was near Point Pleasant, West Virginia. That has been attributed to the Mothman. People have often claimed there's been stories of him like hanging out at Lover's Lane, watching teenagers bang while dancing. Uh, maybe he's excited by the behavior. You paint a much kinder and spookier picture of Mothman simultaneously. The, the town loves him. I love how much the town has embraced Mothman. There's the Mothman pizzeria, the statue in the center of town. You know, what city is he in? Point Pleasant. You must go. It is absolutely I've always wanted delightful. to go for I, the I would festival. like to go. I'd like to go back. You come You want to come with? You want to go to West Virginia? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, it's really good nice. guy, great statue, very erotic. Hey, yeah. you seen this bit ass? A, bit of a purr. That's There's the one no with, the, with, with the ass? Yeah, and he also has like a, you, like a utility suit on. I thought you were going to say he has a YouTube channel. Anyway. Oh, I wish. My number two <laughs> is <laughs> the Ahoo. Oh, I thought it was alcohol. In deepest Java, there is a winged creature, 10 feet tall. Looks like a bat, but it's got the face of a monkey. You know, the name comes from the sound that they're meant to make. Ahul! Ahul! Can oh, you imagine hearing nice. that? I don't think I'd be scared by it, but I would be intrigued. No, it would I sound just, like a fucked up owl. Here's the thing, I love monkeys. I follow a lot of um, sort of monkey accounts. It's like a bat with the face of a monkey. I think its wingspan is like 30 feet. 30 feet? Yeah, fuck yeah, dude. My wingspan is like 10 feet, my arms. It's yeah. crazy. Well, what's your ape index? People with big ape indexes are really good climbers. I'm, I could climb real good. You're pretty large. I'm pretty large, but watch me climb anything. Name it, I'll climb it. Do you have really strong finger pads? Oh, he's got big ass hands. <laughs> big, big hands. Wait, because yeah. look at your hands. They're much smaller than his. Are they? <laughs> yeah. Put your hand next to his. It's fucking huge. I don't think it's that crazy big. Look, yeah. Like I mean, compared to his. Maybe it's bigger than his. We're here to talk about a hool. Yeah. yeah, that's right. Well, uh, you have anything else to say about I'd this? I'd love to be carried away by one. Okay. Brian and I have talked about this. Yeah. We would love there to be giant humans who could carry us around like babies. That's I right. could do that. No, I wouldn't yeah, ask yeah, you to. Yeah, I wouldn't. Yeah. I would never I mean, put like that on you. Effortlessly. We're like, talking like about oh, okay. something like 20 feet tall. Like oh, a, like I could an carry us around in a little papoose. <sighs> My point is, I would love to be out in the wilderness and get swept away by an ahool, taken to God knows where. Well, this is exciting. It's time to move on. That's right. Oh, now this one is really gonna bones your chill your bones. It's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna bone us. Look at this. It might. My number one choice for and this is the scariest one. Yeah. Crawler. Crawler. <laughs> that guy looks like he needs life alert. That doesn't look like someone's crawling. <laughs> look at his face. Look at how sad his face is. Oh my goodness! Listen. Oh listen. my oh. hip. This is sort of a contemporary one. If you put in like crawler cryptid on the internet, there's not that many things that come up. Have you ever seen this fantastic movie, The Descent? Yes. Yes. That's sort of like a pretty accurate description of what they look like. They're these long, uh, lanky, pale white creatures. Cave creatures. Like sort of, kind of. Yeah, I think they're like devolved uh, humans, sort of. But they're really scary, and they crawl around woods and stuff, and they do crawl. Crawl. Insinuate slow. I've never really seen someone crawl fast. I crawl so fast? You can't do everything fast. I can climb a tree fast. I can crawl <laughs> oh my fast. God. 
Watch me. Afterwards, we'll go out in your little parking lot and I'll show you I can climb, I can crawl. <laughs> I can do anything, I'm serious. I'm talking about yourself like you're an action figure. He can climb, he I can am. crawl. I'm not much else, but I am that. Time to see your guys' number one. All right. My number one. By the way, before he gets to that, yeah. I want to say I respect the get, list. Get your fucking hand out of my face. <laughs> Love the list. Get your Thank fucking you. hand out of my face. Well, does anyone else do pictures? I no, do, but I I, this is above and beyond. That's this good. is really lovely. And I love yeah. the little smile on the crack, and yeah. of course, no, you don't have to point smiling. to it. I saw eat, it and I appreciate it. Eat your ass. All right, let's see this number All one. All right, my number one is Bigfoot. <laughs> I was giving him shit and I knew it was my number one the entire time. You can't talk about a list of cryptids if you're not gonna talk about the big guy, the original, the funniest coinage of the name I could think of in any of the cryptozoological world. It simply is named Bigfoot because there was a guy, he walked out of his house, saw a big ass <laughs> footprint big in, foot, in, yeah. the, in the sand and he said to himself, that's a big foot. <laughs> and that just stuck. Cool. Funny dude. So many hoaxes and stories about the Bigfoot out there. We got that guy who claimed to have found an actual Bigfoot and it was frozen, sold it for I think like hundreds of thousands of dollars. Then the people who got it realized it was just a monkey suit that was frozen, could not get their money back, sued him, have not gotten their money back to this day. Also, one of the few cryptids that have evidence behind them. We have the Patterson-Gimlin footage of uh, Bigfoot walking out in the woods. We have nothing but respect. Um, what, do you, what, what do you got for your number one? Ooh. My number one is it's Champ. Yeah, I thought so. I don't know it's what that champ. is. What is that? This guy loves Champ. Champ, I love because I've been to Burlington, Vermont, where Champ resides. Okay. Because it is a Nessie type creature. Look at that fucking Up there photo. in Lake Champlain. Uh, the town has a beautiful culture around that stunning creature. Uh, look, I love Vermont. I went there once. I spent most of my time basking in champ culture. Uh, look, look at that, uh, look at that. like champ. And it's not even a whale penis because there aren't no whales in that lake. And Shane knows his whale penises. I know, I've studied them. Well, you got any other questions about champ? No, I'm okay. You're welcome to ask, but. Yeah, you don't really even know what does champ eat? Fish. Yeah. I think fish. <laughs> Yeah. What's generic answer? What is Maybe. champ like? Water. See me. <laughs> <laughs> wouldn't, wouldn't you love to just ride on that slick, slick back though? I yeah. liked it until you said the slick part. It makes it weirder, <laughs> I feel like. Put a little harness on it, oh, ride what? it around the lake. Woo! Woo! Yeah! <laughs> Woo! Champ, go! It would be the dream of dreams. I, most of these I either want to ride or eat. Wouldn't mind getting a little piggyback from Bigfoot either, I'll tell you that. Yeah, it seems like you both want to see a lot of their genitals too. I don't Wouldn't know, mind well, it. I don't know if, how you inferred that. Just from a, from a- No, don't bring your own pervy stuff into here, No, but from a scientific- Not into the beat zone. Well, this has been an absolute joy. Garrett, I respect your list so much and I've had a lot of fun here today. Thanks, you guys. This is a lot of fun. Thanks for having me talk about cryptids. Garrett, is there anything you would like to plug right now? Anything you want to tell the folks? Oh, no. I mean, I'm always on my internet nonsense. I got a channel called Garrett Unhinged that's a lot of silly fun. I don't know. I'm always is that the actual URL? For that's your new one. Yeah, it's a new channel that I made, but whatever. Check you out whatever wait, you want, whatever you want. you have you another want. channel too, right? What's that one? It's my main channel, just Garrett Watts, you know? Chime off in the comments about which, uh, which lists you guys like the best, which ones you didn't, perhaps a favorite among the picks. Oh yes, and if anyone gets a tattoo of that, let yes, me know. Yes, yes, yes. I want people to get a tattoo of that funny guy up top. Let's all get matching tattoos of the Kraken. Let's do it. Pass. That's, That's the, the list. list.